Ultimately, what we are trying to achieve here during the MACTAF integrated experiment is identify the holes and gaps in the MACTAF. And additionally, with those gaps identified, we can find technologies and concepts that make us more efficient, more lethal, and more survivable as a Marine Corps. This technology that we are utilizing is serving as a surrogate to the CLT. So based on these technologies, we look at the concept and determine how viable that technology is or what we can utilize within that technology that is current or some type of future technology that will enhance the CLT or the Marine Corps operations. I expect during MiG-16 for a real fight. have wills going at it with the tools that they have in order to subdue the other will, you tend to see quick learning because emotion comes into play. Whether it's just pride and ego, but, but really it's a fear of something at stake. And that is one kind of hidden factor about these life force experiments that make it more telling than what we see on the battlefield. We're seeing if our skills that we train, the equipment that we employ, give us an edge to learn, adapt, and create dilemmas for the enemy faster. So it gives a very pure environment to do that. And you know, everybody has a vote on the battlefield instead of one side of it acting and the other side assuming a role and asserting on top of that acting force. There's chaos inherent with that, and that's another great representation of the battlefield. There's friction and things that go wrong that you don't plan to go wrong, and we can't ferry dust them away. There's a huge training value in experimentation because it creates an environment that, though our target audience may be the company landing team, the squads and platoons and certainly the higher headquarters gets great benefit out of that free play aspect. There's some capabilities that we've focused on the last 15 years of war that I think we have to redirect ourselves toward what we think the next conflict's going to be like or what it's like right now. It's changing right now in front of our eyes. 